First tonight, three people are charged in connection to a one year old overdosing on fentanyl in Hamilton County. WCPO 9 News reporter Taylor Nimmo joining us now live. Taylor, how's the baby? The one year old was exposed to nicotine, methamphetamines and fentanyl. Now the baby was taken here to Children's Hospital and survived, but officials say that overdose was nearly fatal. No one likes to see this kind of thing happen to their little boy. The baby's mother, Amberly Miller, non biological father, Tyler Heelmayer, and the baby's grandmother, Pamela Linville, were all in court on Friday. He's absolutely horrified about this situation. All three charged with child endangerment, a second degree felony. On July 10th, Addiston police received a call of an unresponsive one year old. The baby was transported to Cincinnati Children's Hospital, where it was determined the baby overdosed on fentanyl. Fentanyl can be incredibly potent for adults, so the impacts it could have on a baby. The tolerances aren't there. We're talking about brain development. We're talking about heart development, lung development. Pediatrician Chris Peltier says a child overdosing on fentanyl can have long term impacts, especially if a child's brain is deprived of oxygen for a period of time. In this case, I don't think it's so much the, the fentanyl that would cause the damage, but it's the result of the fentanyl overdose where a child may be deprived from oxygen and could have have brain damage, lung damage, heart damage, or kidney damage. They left their fentanyl out in the open to where a small child could get it, and unfortunately in this case, a small child did get into it. Peltier says the baby is very lucky to be alive. His message for all parents. Making sure that your house is safety proof. To lock up your medications. We're not just talking about fentanyl. We're talking about any medicines or substances, cleaning supplies. Now, thankfully, the baby in this case has recovered and is now in the care of Hamilton County JFS and a judge set a grand jury date for August 28th. Reporting live from Children's Hospital, Taylor Nimmo, WCPO 9 News. All right.